Have you ever felt like you're always busy all the time, yet work never seems to die down? Bouncing between inboxes, pointless meetings, and group chats. If this is how you're feeling, you're not alone. I have felt the same way for quite some time now, as pandemic forces me to work from home. But finally, I wake up and realize these are the markers of busyness, not productivity. And this is also the reason why I have done my home office setup as I picture it in my head. Hi guys, my name is Jimmy and I work in a creative department for an advertising firm. I like to spend whatever free time I have left for sharing knowledge and creating contents in this channel. For those of you who have just tuned into the channel, welcome. Do consider to subscribe, follow my channel and my Instagram, and hit the thumbs up for this video if you like it or if it inspires you. As I walk you through my desk setup, you will notice how I like to keep things simple but not too minimalistic like how you used to see in most ads or movies. This is the space where I like to spend the most time whenever I'm working from home. I also leave a link to everything that I have down in the description below in case any of you might be looking for similar things. First of all, you'll notice as you enter the room is a dark colored theme that I choose for my home working space. As I'm constantly looking for new ideas and inspiration, either due to the work demands or my personal hobby, this dark background and theme allows me to get in the zone a lot easier compared to being in a room with brighter ambience. I know there are types of people who are easily stimulated by bright and natural lights. Well, I'm not one of them. I guess each and every one of us are just wired differently. So I recommend you to look for different places with ambience that you might like and try to be more sensitive on how you feel when you're in that room. Whenever I'm working, I tend to get lost in time. Maybe because I'm too deeply focused on certain stuff or just spending long hours on some artworks and homeworks. So I think a sit-stand desk is not only reasonable but perfect for me. This Sui Desk comes with a mahogany tabletop crafted by a local brand here in Indonesia called U Desk. Measuring at 150 by 70 cm, it gives me enough space to spread out my arms and things around. Normally, when I work with deep focus, I usually sit down. But when I need to pump up a little bit more energy, I can work standing up by raising the tabletop using the controller located on my right. Not only that, this controller also allows me to set up to three preset heights. For me, it's my normal sitting height, standing, or low heights to enable top angle shots using my camera. I've been a long time laptop user, at least for as long as my creative career of more than 17 years. Even if I had a monitor, it was either a 24 inch or 27 inch, but nothing bigger than that. I just realized that having an ultra wide screen can provide me ample space to work on multiple screens and boost my working pace quite significantly. If you're looking for a budget friendly version, this one is a 34 inch ultra wide monitor from LG 34WN ATC series. Plugged via a single USB C cable to my 2019 MacBook Pro that I tuck aside on a docking station next to it. I use the 21 by 9 ratio to group my tasks into two main categories, the one that I'm currently working on and the other serves as a reminder of the things that I need to touch base on or something to explore. From photo editing, digital imaging to video editing, the screen comfortably comes with a WQHD display at 3440 by 1440 resolution that uses an IPS panel to keep the colors consistent in any viewing angle. Though so this is not a 4K display, it is pre-calibrated out of the box and it still has a very impressive sharpness and image colors. At the back of the monitor, a number of ports comes in handy connecting it to my other peripherals such as external hard drives, card readers and all. 
to achieve a neat and tidy space, I realized I need to keep my dash shelf clear from the monitor stand. So I use a visa mount with built-in space for cable management in order to give that floating monitor look and at the same time allows me to freely raise, lower, swivel or tilt the monitor with ease. The next thing you'll notice is the collection items. I'm not really a collector myself or anything as such, but I like to keep these items for distraction while enjoying my short breaks. The funny thing about distraction is that you don't want yourself to be too distracted, but I noticed that a little distraction can actually help to boost your creativity that eventually helps you to come up with better ideas and finish your work more productively. These collection items are sitting on top of a dash shelf that I bought from a local startup here in Indonesia called Local Works. It comes in a matte black color, matching with the black wall background, but at the same time creating a strong contrast to the table. The shelf comes with a considerably shallow aluminum topper tray that fits perfectly to the size of the table, offering a quite luxurious look with its wool felt surface. Now, you might be wondering that these collection items may seem to be unrelated one another, but I intentionally choose them the way they are to make my mind wander, making new connections and associations that enhance my creativity. I like this Tinker statue because it reminds me of myself when I need to pause and reflect, see if there's any other way I can do to make things better. When it comes to creative thinking however, putting too much time during the process can be counterproductive, so I have to shrink my time and use my time more effectively. And these guys here are to lighten up the mood and make things more fun for me. Just like what Einstein once said, to stimulate creativity, one must develop a childlike inclination for play. As creativity flows naturally in and out, we sometimes need to be more sensitive and be quick enough to capture it. I like to capture it in the easiest way possible, sometimes by using the computer screen or taking note or sketching on a piece of paper. So I need a space that enables me to do all that comfortably. This is why these items here are like the basic must-have on my desk. From a large 80 by 40 black leather desk pad to an MX Master 3 mouse, with a matching color and a lot of productive buttons, which I'm still getting used to it since I've been using Apple Magic Mouse for over six years now. But overall, I find this MX Master 3 mouse can actually help me work more efficiently. If you remember this Keychrome K3 keyboard from my previous video, you might recall how I love the linear sound of its keycaps, not too distracting, just the nice ticking white noise adding to the music I'm listening to. Sitting right on top of my keyboard and its nice looking USB-C coil cable is my Orbit Keyness storage case. It is so simple, I can always carry it along with me anytime, anywhere. Not only it works as a storage case for my external hard drives, I also can use it as a wireless charging pad for my Sony XM4 earbuds. I think having a greenery on a desk or a workstation is actually just as important as having a mouse next to a keyboard. I sometimes catch myself looking at this hydroponic baby Pilea while thinking or talking over the phone. I don't have the right words to describe my experience, but it just feels calming and lightens up my mood. And maybe this is what Marie Kondo means by sparking joy. Enjoying the things that I do, sometimes I don't realize that I've been sitting for hours and hours in the same position, that eventually I catch myself a back and shoulder pain. This chair that I got from IKEA actually doesn't cost me much, but it provides a good and very comfortable support along my back up to my neck, as well as my head. And to support the lower part of my body, I also added a Dagato food rest from IKEA. How to pronounce the name of this chair is still a mystery for me. I think it's called as Jav Jalet, but let me just type it out for you here so you can easily look it up when you pop by an IKEA store. Some of you perhaps have owned a Marcus chair from IKEA, which is still a very popular choice for office use until now. 
You might be wondering whether this Jaff Jalit chair has a big difference compared to the Marcus one. This Jaff Jalit is considered as one of the latest products from IKEA and it gives an additional features that Marcus chair doesn't come up with such as an adjustable lumbar support, an adjustable heat rest as well as an adjustable seat cushion. If I can say one thing that it lacks compared to the Marcus chair is the narrow plastic armrest that doesn't come with any pad. But overall, I've been using this chair for about a month or so and honestly, I'm quite happy and satisfied sitting on it. Workstation for me is more than functional place to type and write. So lighting, sound and smell also plays a very important role in this setup. In my lighting setup, apart from using the dim and ambient smart bulb, I've also attached a smart LED strip behind my desk and a standing light diffusing to the background and around the corner to make the room well lit without making it too strong and overstimulating. As you can see here, I'm using a Mark Frost desk lamp by IKEA with a Jalbi LED bulb. I like the warm orange tone creating a calm and relaxing mood. The only unfortunate thing about this Mark Frost lamp is that it's using a normal on-off switch despite the dimmable LED bulb. So maybe I can make this lamp nicer is if I can just make some adjustment to the switch myself to make it dimmable. I just recently attached a curved light bar at the top of my monitor that extends its brightness to my desk area. It also comes with an additional feature of RGB light at the top, adding a very soft touch of ambient light in the background. This mini controller that comes with the curved light bar gives you more freedom in controlling the light and ambience with a simple press and rotate motion. Deep focus work can sometimes go a long way with a good ambience music. I'm now playing a low 5 bit playlist on my Marshall Stanmore Bluetooth speaker that I've been using for the past 5 years and I seriously love the sound quality that it produced. As you come into the room, you'll notice the ambience feels very different than my other rooms. Mainly also because of this one simple slick looking diffuser sitting at the corner of my table on top of a repurposed piece of black slate stone as the base or tray if you will. I know you may not be able to smell it from your screen, but I'm using a scent with a citrus base topped with ginger for a calming but still exotic and energy boosting aroma. Hopefully, this gives you a hint on how it actually smells. A desk setup would not be complete without a good cable management. A good cable management can help to clear out any clutter, improve your speed and efficiency in space and performance. More importantly, clearing out your desk from all the crisscrossing cables can also help you clear your mental clutters. To achieve that, I'm using a humble set of velcro cable tie, an adjustable adhesive cable strap mount, and a strong 3M DHB double tape. I also fixed the extension power plug under the table to keep them out of sight, leaving only one single cord to power the desk and everything else on it. Honestly speaking, when I started to do my setup, I actually want everything to finish at the same time. Not just for the desk, but for the entire home office space. But nothing is ever finished. So take your time in setting your priorities in which part of the setup you would like to finish first. Either to finish the workstation first, and then move on to the nice shooting studio corner, or a library and a reading corner. You may call it a desk setup or a home office space setup, but whatever you do, everything is always about improvement and is ever changing just like who we are as human. Quoting from a book I recently read, never try too hard. If you think too hard about your goal, it paralyzes you and it wears you out before you're trying or firing a shot at something. I learned from this book, the best way to improve is to embrace effortlessness that comes from your talent and above all from your attitude. I pasted the book details in the description below in case you're interested to read further. So with that note, I'd like to invite you to stay tuned for more videos as I improve this home office space along the way. Not sure when yet, so if you're curious, just hit the bell to get notified. I truly hope you enjoyed this video as much as I'm making it. Subscribe this channel and follow me on Instagram to get more updates on what's next. Oh, one more thing. 
Did I mention that this entire home office setup is actually connected to my Google Smart Home device? Hey Google, turn off office power. And that left me with my softbox light here.